All right, so in this problem, I have 7x to the power of 5 minus 7x is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 7. So now I get 7 times x to the power of 5 minus x is equal to 0. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by 7. So then these two cancel out, and now I'll be left with x to the power of 5 minus x is equal to 0. Now from here, I can go ahead and factor out x. So now I have x times x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. And now, this is going to give me two equations. My first is x equals 0, which is a solution. So I have one solution for x already. My second is x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 here as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can write that as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now if this minus 1, 1 is the same thing as 1 squared, which is equal to 0. And now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 1. So now I have x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1. And this is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations again. I have x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. And I have x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. For, so for x squared minus 1 equals 0, I add 1 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to 1, meaning x is equal to positive or negative 1. And for x squared plus 1 equals 0, I get x squared is equal to negative 1, meaning x is equal to positive or negative i. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 4 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4. I can think of x to the power of 4 as m and 4 as n. So if I replace those, or sorry, if I switch those two, I get x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. And now 64 here, I can rewrite as 8 squared. So now I have x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 squared to the power of 4. And 8 squared to the power of 4, that's the same thing as 8 to the power of 2 times 4, which is 8 to the power of 8. So I have x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 to the power of 8. And this means that x to the power of 4 
is equal to eight and x is equal to the fourth root of eight. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out four to the power of x. So now I have four to the power of x times one plus one plus one plus one is equal to one. Now, if I simplify what's in the parentheses here, I get four. So now I have four to the power of x times four is equal to one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply these two. So four here, this is the same thing as four to the power of one. If I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, four to the power of x times four to the power of one, that's gonna equal four to the power of x plus one. And this is equal to one. So now one here, this is the same thing as four to the power of zero. So now I have four to the power of x plus one is equal to four to the power of zero. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus one here is equal to zero. meaning x is equal to negative one. Now, another method we could have done here is, as you see here, we have four to the power of x time, or right here, we have four to the power of x times four is equal to one. So what we could have done instead here is divide both sides by four. So now I have four to the power of X is equal to one fourth, which is the same thing as four to the power of negative one. So now remember if something is in the form A to the power of M is equal to A to the power of N, that means that this is equal to this, meaning X is equal to negative one. 